Hello sewers and welcome. In my previous video we had a look at printing uh, PDF sewing patterns and especially how to print them out at accurate and correct scaling and sizing. In this video we're going to do the exact opposite. We're going to print our PDF patterns deliberately at the wrong size. So firstly, why might you want to do that? Well, say you've bought a, a small pattern and it's for a little clutch bag or something like that. And you're thinking, you know, that's just got some really great features. What if I could make that slightly bigger, put a strap on it, it would make a great purse. But the pattern is in the wrong size. Using the simple technique that I'm going to show you in this video, you can upsize that pattern to any size that you like. Or say you buy a large tote bag and it's really too large. You don't need to carry the kitchen sink. You love the style, but you want a smaller size. So again, using this technique that I can show you, you can take that one tote bag pattern you've made and you can scale that pattern to any size so you can make that bag bigger, smaller. You can make that bag the perfect size for you. And it's really not that difficult. It's just gonna take a few clicks of the mouse. Now, there are a few things that you need to think about. When you scale up or scale down a pattern, everything about that pattern also changes in scale. So if you have a pattern with a, for example, a one centimeter, 10 millimeter seam allowance, and you make that pattern 50% larger, then your seam allowance is also now 50% larger. So your one centimeter seam allowance is now 1.5 centimeters. And you need to remember that and take that into account when you sew, otherwise your pieces might not fit together properly. Also think about other elements of that pattern that might scale up or down. If you have a really cute shoulder bag, do you really need to make that strap 50% wider and 50% longer if you make the purse itself 50% bigger? Probably not. If you have it with a, a one inch shoulder strap, does it really need to scale up to be uh, a one inch and a half shoulder strap? That might look a little bit too wide, too clunky. So when you think about upscaling or downscaling any of your pattern pieces, just go through it in your mind before you do it and think which elements of this pattern need to change and which elements do I want to stay the same. And in so doing, you might find that you don't actually need to reprint all of those pattern pieces at a larger or a smaller scale. It's therefore going to save you some paper and some ink if you don't need to reprint all of your pattern pieces. We're going to use my Guernsey bag for this example. This pattern actually already comes in three different sizes, which is handy. But in the next section, the screenshot section of the video, I'm going to show you to take any pattern piece and make it larger or smaller as you need. Let's use this page from the Guernsey zipper pouch as an example. It's the exact same page I used in the regular how to print out a digital pattern video. So this will be a good one to use. So if we want to print it at 100%, we've seen that in the previous video, go back and take a look at that one if you need some help. But in order to print it smaller, we can scale the pattern. So I have my pattern opened in Adobe Reader or Adobe Acrobat if you have it. Let's go to File and Print and we'll pick our print settings. Now this pattern comes as small, medium and large. There's the medium, there's the large. I'll pick the small one because that's the one I already have set aside here as an example. So I'm going to print at actual size if I want it at actual size at custom scale of 100%. I'm just going to pick that I want to pick page one. There we go. So I'm just printing page one and the other pages will disappear from my print preview. And now I change my custom scale so it no longer reads 100%. I'm going to make this smaller. 20% smaller, so I'm going to pick 80%. And as I tab forward, you can see in the preview window that suddenly it's smaller. So click back, actual size, custom scale 80%, and the whole page is going to print 20% smaller. The rest of the settings will stay exactly as they would, so you go into your page setup or your properties as necessary. So let's hit print, and we'll compare that with the regular size pattern. So now our pattern piece is printed and let's take a look. Here is the original Guernsey pattern piece and here is our smaller one. And as you can see, it's printed it with a larger margin around the outside because basically the whole print, the whole page has printed, but at a smaller size. So now you have your original pattern piece and your smaller one. Now let's say instead of making the pattern smaller, we want to make it larger. So exactly the same, file, and print. 
when we go through the normal settings that we would, this time again I'm going to just print page one for our example. And instead of actual size, this time our custom scale is going to be 120. And look what happens to our preview when I press enter on that one. Suddenly you can see it doesn't look like it's going to fit on our piece of paper properly. Things are overhanging here and definitely cut off at the top. So I'm going to click on poster and we can see that our scale is 100%. So I'm going to change that to 120. And now you can see it appears to fit much better on the page. But if you look very closely, there's a dotted line here across the center. And now our pattern piece is actually going to print over two separate pages. And again, if we made it larger, if we wanted to go 150%, then the pattern becomes too large to fit on two and we'll get split over four sheets. I'm going to set it back to 120 and let's print it out. And here are our larger pattern pieces now for this Guernsey bag. As you can see, this one medium sized pattern piece has now become two and you simply pop those together. As you can see, they'll fit together perfectly. There may be a little bit of overlap that you need to either print or trim off. And then you have one larger pattern piece. So you'll repeat those simple steps in order to just reprint those pattern pieces that you need. And that's it. Simple as that. I hope this video has been useful and I hope to see you on my channel again soon.